Hey everyone, welcome back to official MM2H Resources, where we dive into all things related to the Malaysia My Second Home MM2H program. Let's get into it. Imagine a place known for its rich culture, diverse food, and warm people. A place you'd love to call your second home. That's what Sarawak, Malaysia has been for many. But recent issues with the Malaysia My Second Home MM2H program are causing some concern. The MM2H program is a cornerstone of Sarawak's appeal, offering foreign investors a chance to make this vibrant region their second home. Yet, the sudden suspension of MM2H agents' licenses in Sarawak has raised eyebrows and sparked concern. This is where Sarawak Housing and Real Estate Developers Association, Sheeta, comes into the picture. Represented by Augustine C.H. Wong, Sheeta is calling for a quick resolution to ensure a smooth transition and maintain investor confidence. Sheda understands the need for policy changes, but emphasizes that these changes must not disrupt the economic contributions of the MM2H program or divert interest to other countries. This situation calls for a swift resolution, but why? Let's delve deeper into the matter. The suspension of MM2H agents' licenses is more than just a policy change. It threatens the investor confidence and could potentially divert interest to other countries. Let's take a closer look at the potential implications of this suspension. Sarawak, cherished for its unique cultural blend and natural beauty, has long been a favored destination for those seeking a second home. The MM2H program has been instrumental in positioning Sarawak as such an attractive destination. However, the abrupt suspension of the agent's licenses has cast a shadow over this image. It's not just about the immediate economic impact, but also the long-term perception of Sarawak as a hospitable and welcoming place. Now let's talk numbers. The MM2H program has not only brought in foreign residents, but also their investments. These contributions have been a significant booster to the local economy, supporting a myriad of sectors from real estate to retail. If we allow this suspension to linger, the potential loss could be significant, but it's not just about the money. The suspension could potentially divert interest to other countries. After all, the world is a big place and there are many other attractive destinations vying for the attention of these prospective second homeowners. If Sarawak loses its shine, it could be a tough climb to regain that lost ground. Moreover, the sudden suspension has stirred uncertainty. Investors crave stability and predictability. They need to know that their investments are safe and that the rules of the game won't change overnight. This suspension could very well shake their confidence and deter future investors. The stakes are high and the need for a smooth transition is evident. So what's the proposed solution? Sheeta, represented by Augustine C.H. Wong, has a proposal. They're advocating for the delegation of authority over Sarawak MM2 H agency permits to Sarawak authorities. Let's delve into what this proposal entails. Sheeta believes that Sarawak authorities are well positioned to take on the responsibility of managing the MM2 H agency permits. This is not a mere shift of power, but a strategic move to ensure that Sarawak maintains its appeal as a second home destination. Sheeta's confidence in Sarawak authorities is rooted in their understanding of the local landscape and their vested interest in preserving Sarawak's attractiveness. They have the knowledge, the insight, and the will to protect Sarawak's interests, making them the ideal custodians of the MM2H agency permits. But Sheeta also recognizes the need for change. They understand that policy changes are sometimes necessary to adapt to evolving circumstances. However, they emphasize that any transition must be smooth. The goal here is to uphold the economic contributions of the MM2H program and prevent potential investors from diverting their interests to other countries. In essence, Sheeta's proposal is a call for balance, a balance between embracing necessary changes and ensuring a seamless transition, a balance between protecting Sarawak's interests and maintaining investor confidence. A change is necessary, but it must be done right, and Sheeta believes Sarawak authorities have what it takes. The future of the MM2H program in Sarawak lies in the balance. This is a story we're all watching closely. The suspension of licenses is not a trivial matter. It's an issue that affects investor confidence and the positioning of Sarawak as a second home destination. We all hope for a swift resolution, 
one that upholds economic contributions and prevents interest diversion to other countries. For more information about the MM2H program and to keep up with the latest developments, visit our website at officialm2h.com. Stay informed, stay connected. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us and helps us create more content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or what you'd like to see next. Until then, take care and see you in the next video.